Good morning. I am Dr. Ajit Jain from Computer Science and Engineering Department of KMIT and I am going to talk about a new subject managing data science and security which is a professional elective subject number 2 for our third year students. So, this course has beautiful objective and let me explain you what about the course is all about, what are we going to learn and what is the course objective and what we are going to get as an outcome. So, the objective of the course is how to build and manage a data science team. Data science has been there for many, many years together and the team effort of the data science is very, very important in order to understand the subject. Team effort meaning different people are working together, but different people will have a different domain of the knowledge also. So, how do we make a good team and how the team is going to be built? All those disparities I am going to talk about. So, the first objective is how to build and manage the data, uh, manage a data science team. Second objective is how to handle various data science projects in an organization. So, second objective clearly tells me that if I have a lot of projects going on concurrently parallelly, how I am going to manage all the projects together? That is your roadmap of the project, milestone of the project, successfulness of the project, all those things come under this area point number 2. The next point is about minimum variable product for data science and creating or developing a infrastructure for a data science project. So, it tells that how I am going to create a infrastructure, what are the systems required, hardware requirement, software requirement, how many people will be required, all those things are coming under the category of point number 3 called as infrastructure for a data science project. Nevertheless, the most important for all of us is as objective is technology for securing a data science environment. So, I have completed a project in data science, I have completed a project, but what about the security issues? So, when I have security issues, then I have to worry about what is the security environment I am giving, what is the security that my uh, project will be successfully floated or will be on the internet and it will be used by many of the people. So, security is a major concern for all of us and we are going to see how we have a security for the data science project as an environment and how to involve data science in the cyber security. Everything is becoming a cyber, everything is available over the internet all, all around the world. So, when everything is available, we have to worry about the data science as a security and what are the security measures I am going to speak about. With this background, uh, we come to a conclusion or what we call is a outcome. So, after studying this course, what I am going to get? Very simple, after learning the concept, you will be able to understand importance of a building and managing a data science team. So, team is going to be a disparate people or different kind of people coming from different domain and you have to acquire a good knowledge about the domain too. How to handle data science project in an organization and developing an infrastructure for a data science project and prominence of cyber security in my data science. So, these are the outcome which are going to be measured in terms of maybe qualitative or quantitative, but they are the outcome. Okay? So, we will see that how do I make the team is successful in a, any organization, how do I develop the infrastructure and how do I develop the security or what are the security measures. So, with this background, let me start the course okay. and the textbook uh, which are going to be used for this course are number one textbook, managing data science effective strategies to manage data science project and build a sustainable team available from the author called as Kirill Dubokivyo. Uh, from packet publication and secure data science from the four authors from a CRC press. So, these two are our textbook for the entire course. However, there are few references available and two references I have cited. You can see the references and if you want to go into more details about the uh, at various time, I am going to give the link also and I am going to share the link also where people can go for more uh, interesting topic and more learning about the uh, subject. So, let us start with the unit 1. Unit 1 is building and sustaining a team. So, I want to build a team. Fine. I have a task called as define a data science. Now, definition of the data science. 
I am going to say after maybe 2 to 3 minutes what is the definition of the data science, then how data science has influenced the world, limitations of our data science and review of the very, very popular concept of all of us know uh, what you call as a machine learning and deep learning. Okay. Then we have some model called as a model testing, model testing will cover about two parts offline model testing and online model testing, it is similar to our software testing, but the, the testing methodology is little different. The next point is building and sustaining a team, define a data science team role. So, when I become a team member, what is my role? Am I a coder? Am I a debugger? Am I a programmer? Am I a uh, software designer or am I a test school, a test uh, suit uh, case role? So, those things are basically defined as a role. Then exploring data science team role and their responsibility. So, what for I am responsible? So, each and every individual who is a part of our team has to be a, having a distinct role and common flaws in data uh, technical interviews. This is a very, very good thing we have to learn whenever we recruit the people or people are getting recruited or what are the question. A, a very important thing in learning is how do I frame my question? So, how do I frame a technical interview and things like that? Then introducing values and ethics into the interview. So, interview also has very good uh, term called as ethics, which we are going to talk what are the meaning of the data science ethics, okay, which I, I am going to talk about. Then designing a good interview, achieving a team zen. Now, whenever we are talking about the team like Maruti, Maruti car is a team effort by the Japanese people originally. Now, it has been taken over in the Indian. So, the car manufacturing is a zen effort or a team effort which require a leadership and people management. So, I do require a leadership. So, when you become a from a programmer to a team leader or a project manager, I require more than the technical knowledge something called as a team building or leadership skill. So, I am going to talk about that also. Then the next point is facilitating a growth mindset. That means, I should always have a path a going mindset which I am just going to say okay whenever a today I develop a project for 1 million people, tomorrow I have to develop the same kind of people where the data set become increasing. So, the same uh, code or same uh, software or same my um, uh, our what you call as the model should also be able to grow. Okay. Then I am going to talk about case study and creating a data science department also. So, with this let us define what is meaning by a data science and machine learning as a background. So, data science and machine learning can transform any organization and open a new opportunities. Buzzwords in the internet, buzzwords in the social media are data science and machine learning. A lot of advertisement comes on the social media, learn machine learning in 6 months from this this academic, learn uh, data science in 4 months, this this is academic. So, those are bird word. So, any data science project is basically what we call as a unique, unique mix of what? Mix of three things. Number one, research. Research is I should know what I am doing and I should also know the background about what I am going to do and what I am doing uh, too. Then software engineering and business expertise. So, you can see that a data science project is a mix of the three component. Number one is the research, number two software engineering and the very, very important is business. I have to make the money. How do I make a good money? Uh, how do I make a good uh, team to make a successful business? So, a substantial part or substantial managerial effort is needed to guide the solution from a prototype to a production development. So, I design a prototype in my lab. However, I have to go for the production and for this I need a lot of efforts, guidelines, how do I make a successful team effort. So, traditional approach often fail as they have a different conditions and requirement in mind. This is the whole problem in a data science project field. So, I started with a lot of enthusiasm and then somehow after one or two months the entire project collapses. So, what are the reasons for a failure or what, what make the fail to happen? Was it a fail on a safer side or a fail on a rudimentary uh, different side? So, those things I have to uh, will be learning soon. And we say the traditional approaches are often fail because I have not refined my uh, approaches. I have not done any research on my why project fail. So, I have to learn more about the why project fail and probably from uh, some other failures I have to read and learn the mindset why my project has failed or should not fail next time onwards. 
So we should learn about the proven approaches of data science called as project management with tips and best practices which will be guiding us to for the next year. Okay. So unit 1, uh, the process of data science begin with the preparation you need to establish what? Please see that I have 5 Y, sorry 5 W's. 5 W's tells me what I want. Number 1 W say that what you know before you start a project, what you know? Do you know about the data set very good? Do you know about the domain knowledge? So, so suppose I am designing a machine learning model or a data science project for a, a medicine or a medical professional. Do I know little bit about the domain knowledge of the medicine? I am not a prescribed doctor, but I need to know something about the medical profession too and some ethics also medical profession. Then second is what you have. So do I have a sufficient knowledge with me or not? If it is not possible, can I acquire the knowledge? Answer should be yes. Then what you can get and where you are and the last and most important point for our data science project is where you would like to be. So this is the milestone of our W's. So these five W's tells me that what you are, what you have, what you can get and where you are and finally where you would like to take my data science project as a, <coughs> a successful team. So the last one is the utmost important a project in data science need to have a purpose. Without purpose the doing a project is meaningless. So I have a purpose not for the fun, I have a purpose not for the just time pass but I have a purpose to make the successfulness of the project too. So I need to have a, a purpose and a corresponding goal and the goal is making a good business, goal is making more number of customer or generating new revenue to the business or generating more number of uh, clients to my uh, business. So these are the goals in the mind we have to keep. Only when you have a well defined goals you can be, uh, begin a survey to available resources on the possibility from moving towards the goal. So unless until I have a goal it is very very difficult what I want to be after 2 years or 5 years. So that means we need to have a good planning also for the achievement of the goal. Now uh, there is a caption what people think about data science. So you can see that some humor are there. Okay. So when I look at data science because for me a data science and maybe a new project or the, for the people who are coming or learning for the first time or be, uh, uh, have learned from the buzzword okay data science is very very important getting very popular uh, apart from the computer science and things like that. So the first caption says that what my boss think data science is like a money printer. So data science a uh, boss always think that okay when the uh, uh, project is successful I am going to have a lot of money. Another scenario could be my customer think about whatever problem I have the data science will be able to fulfill the problem or data science will be able to solve the problem. So the customer thinking is different is looking for every kind of answer in the data science domain. Then as a software builder, as a software thinker or as a data science what I think. So what software engineer think about data science is data science is a import you have you have to learn mathematics you have to learn statistics, you have to learn machine learning, you have to learn so many things and you have to learn so many number of then you will become a data science too. Okay. So some of the parts of this area are very true and then what is a project? A project you can see a one person is doing a orchestra. So he is a conductor whereas all the other players are different players and each player in the team have to be synchronized. So I have to learn so many number of different aspects of my uh, orchestra. Orchestra is nothing but, but my conductor is a data science and I have to learn about the statistic principles, some of the infrastructure, some of the software, some of the data resources. All these things put together in unison will make my successfulness of the project. So you can see that different people have different captions about the data science project but whereas I am more worried about part number 3 and part number 4. Okay. So this is the way we look at the data science. So I have to learn about all the techniques too. Okay. So what is data science? Before diving into the management issues of the building around the machine learning, we need to explore the topic of data science as well. Number one, what are the main concepts behind the data science and machine learning? What are the things which we require for learning a data science project, machine learning and things like that? 
then how do you build a test model so whenever i am building a model how do i test it so test is uh, test scenario has to be written and the test scenario has to be written for a small to a large data set that means your model should be able to fit from a smaller data set to a bigger data set because if your customer get increased your model should not fail the third answer uh, third question is what are the common pitfall in this process accidentally or incidentally if my project fails why did it fail what was the reason for failure what were the pitfalls so these are the questions i have to answer then what kind of model are there or what kind of different models are there so that is another question if i fail in one model can i think about a second uh, model or can i revise my model and can can i do a revisiting of my model then the last point for a data science what task can we solve using a machine learning algorithm what are the different things i can solve using a machine learning algorithm people are talking about machine learning people are talking about the ai and things like that solving all the human problem let me tell you machine learning ai cannot solve human problem it can't make a person to sleep it can sing a lullaby song it can make a person to go to sleep but it will not you can't make a house without a a human being so what task can we solve using a machine learning so these are the questions we have to learn about the what data science is all about and what we can do so what we can do with the data science so we have a caption called as know the domain so when i want to know the domain when i want to know the domain i should know where i am hitting so in the right hand side i have shown some hammers each hammer has a different purpose you cannot use any kind of hammer for a small nail to a bigger nail or taking a nail from the uh, 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 our wall okay so i have to have a very good knowledge about the hammering principle or what are the different kinds of hammer available so that hammer uh, analogy tells me that what is my domain so before building a house it would be better to know how a hammer works having basic knowledge about the domain you should manage a vital source uh, source of information for any kind of a managing of the people or managing a team so i should know the domain for example if i am designing a model for a let us say stock exchange market then my domain will be stock exchange that means selling price buying price what is the current trade why, why people are buying the product and things like that similarly if i am uh, uh, doing a project for let us say uh, medical background then i need to know about the infection how the medicine work and things like that so my domain knowledge is the utmost important for me then we say a software development manager needs to understand the computer programming and here is our work so i have to have a good knowledge about the programming languages too let it be a python or a machine learning or a tensor flow or keras as a uh, as a flow a factory manager need to know the manufacturing process a data science manager need to have a no exception so you can see that what i can do is knowing the domain know the things what you want to do and a data science project is not a exception just without knowing you cannot do it okay so with this background we go to a data science has become very popular and a lot of people are doing a business and a, as i said you can see any advertisement coming in the uh, in the media and uh, news channels saying that okay learn professional data science in 6 months and 1 year diploma degree and blah 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 so data science has become very popular many business people and technical professionals have a increasing interest in understand data science and applying to solve all of their problems so people have a misconception that when i learn data science when i learn a machine learning algorithm when i learn a ai the all the problem will be solved my answer is no no it, it it can solve only to some extent most of the problem but it cannot solve all of the all of the problem so people often form their own first opinion about the data science of uh, from the information they collect from the background for example news site social media and so on and so forth unfortunately most of the sources is, are misguiding rather than giving a realistic picture of what a data science is all about and what machine learning is all about so what we are going to learn is a basic principles of our data science machine learning and how do i make a project how do i make a project successful and uh, and so on and so forth so instead of explaining the social media or any media describing the ultimate magical tool that easily solve our problem the technology uh, all the media they propagate oh there is a singular term there is a single entity available called as data science it will solve all of your problem which is nevertheless true 
So, a technological singularity is near. So, people are thinking that once I learn AI, I will be master of the universe, which is not true. A universal income economy around the corner is not possible because everybody will have a different income group depending upon their competence, depending upon their expertise, depending upon their level of learning. Well, only a machine learn about the what you can think like a human. So, we always have to learn a like a machine has to learn like a human being, but it cannot replace a human being. There is a fundamental principle of AI. So, only if machine learn and thought like a human being, which is the underlying principle for our data science and machine learning. In fact, we are far from creating a general purpose self learning and self improving algorithm. So, we are, we are going to learn, we already learned some of the algorithm in our previous courses. However, it's still far from there, we do not have any general purpose or a self learning or a self uh, al improving algorithm available too. So, this session will explore current possibilities and modern applications of the main tools of the data science like machine learning and deep learning. So, what I am going to uh, talk okay, in the subsequent, uh, subsequent sessions is role of AI, machine learning, deep learning, deep learning cases and introduction to a very beautiful thing called as causal uh, inferences. So, these are the topics which we are going to learn. Okay, and just I will just give you a brief about our AI then I will stop. So, AI is media uses a news and AI to substitute a buzzword for any of the technology. So, you can see our great uh, uh, ever scientist of the century Albert Einstein, he emphasized mostly about the thinking process of the human mind. So, it started in the 50s when several researchers started asking where the computer can learn. Can a computer can learn similar to a human being? Can a computer think similar to a human being? And the last and more important point about the AI is can you reason out why red is red? Can you reason out? So, reasoning is very, very important. Okay. So, even after 74 years from 1950 to uh, 2024, so 74 years later, we still do not know the answer of all the things. But we have made a very good stride in the headway and that is what we call it. We have made a significant progress in the specific kind of AI that solve a specific narrow task. So, I am able to solve some of the narrow task of the AI. For example, can I repair a high voltage line? A human cannot, but a AI or a robot can make, uh, make a uh, repair of the high voltage line. Can I deep, uh, uh, dug a uh, soil about 10 feet below or 20 feet below? Yes. Okay. So, this is the applications of the our weak AI okay. and then science fiction novel tells about the machine that can reason like a human being. Okay. A lot of people have written science fiction novels. In scientific language, they describe strong AI. Strong AI is, can I solve most of the problem? Okay. So, strong AI can think like a human and intellectual ability may be much more advanced. So, a normal human capability will be surpassed by a AI. Okay, and that is what we call as a much more advanced. The creation of strong AI remains the main long term goal of our community, scientific community. However, practical applications about the weak AI are much more imprudent. Okay. While strong AI taught to solve the problem of a general intelligence, weak AI, weak AI is focused on solving a one narrow particular task. Okay. So, example of weak AI are like a speech recognition. Can I re recognize the speech? Can I recognize the, a particular tone of a singer? Can I identify a particular singer? For example, I want to discriminate between the voices of late Lata Mangeshkar and let's say Suman Kalyanpur. Will I be able to differentiate? Answer should be yes. So, that is called speech recognition. Image classification. So, I get lot of images. Can I classify the image into bird, rose, these, that? So, a, a classification, the biggest problem in our uh, research. Customer churn prediction. Customer churn prediction tells me that if a customer has to be retained, what is the retention ratio, how the customer will be retained, otherwise my competitor is going to get away the customer with me. Weak AI plays an important role in our life changing the way we work and think like that. So, with this background, I will say I uh, have a great person who has minor three things, learn, think and reason. And all this mind has to be generated by a process and these processes are nothing but to be translated into a machine and then machine will think like a human. So, a human has been replaced by a machine and machine become a thinking scenario with the human. So, this is what we do it. So, uh, uh, just defining a data science. Now, you can see that data science is nothing but a AI, machine learning and deep learning and a combination of all the three. So, in the next uh, class, we are going to talk about more about the data science 
and I am going to start with the AI, machine learning, deep learning and then confined to the data science. So with this introduction, I stop here. Uh, the session uh, number one ends here and if you have any question you can ask me later too and from there uh, from here onwards we are going to talk about the data science in more detail thank you so much